This is Cardboard Penguin here, and, um, yeah, welcome to a tutorial and an update, so a two-in-one. This is tutorial is going to be for how to, um, how to make intros and outros for free with a website with no downloads or anything. So, yeah, but just a quick update on the channel. I haven't been posting anything because my grandma has unfortunately passed away, so I've been busy with stuff like that and uh, school and stuff. So, yeah. And then uh, my friend, who is the other owner of the channel or whatever, he ha doesn't have the equipment to record videos, so that's why there's been nothing. But, um, yeah. So this will be the first video in a week other than the intro thing so this is I'm gonna be making my actual outro here so uh, yeah um, so how to do this is you just go search up a thing called Panzoid I have caps on again oh well Panzoid.com official site it should be the first one but it's just Panzoid.com I guess there's a YouTube and other stuff but this is what you want and if this is the current it might look a bit different I don't know it depending on when you watch this or when you do this so if this shows up gray you might want to try a different browser because sometimes apparently that happens um, but yeah once you hit see here you're gonna be like uh what Unless you're experienced. Experienced. Eh. So, pressing this will actually show you your intro. And that is, so you just press this to actually see the angle. I don't know why you'd want to use this, but, yeah. So this will actually show you what your intro is, and then you can play your intro. So, yeah, so that's starting from scratch, but let's say you don't want to start from scratch. You want to use a template. So there's one of three templates. I like the just regular black template. So we'll go into... And then this will be the, the, the generic intro. So let's say I like this, but let's say I want to rename this so you go to objects and then you click on the object one and then this will pop up and this will be everything you ever would need to edit ever so let's say my name is Jim Bob three seven two so now when I play it it'll be Jim Bob three seven two so let's say, and then let's say, I don't really like having that. Let's say I want, um, nah, I think Jim Bob, I think he, he's in the army, so let's say he wants that. Jim Bob, and it has a little star. So, let's say that's how Jim Bob likes his intro. Then he's like, I like green better, so you go down, and then... Yeah, you can click this, and let's say he wants the arm, the a brighter army green. So yeah, let's say Jim Bob's like, okay, I like this, but what if I don't want it to be all one solid color? Well, you can change it to be pixelated. That'll make it like that, which is the generic. Like it didn't actually turn that green into this green. It just changes the color and then you'd have to select the color of green that Jim Bob liked again like that but let's say Jim Bob likes that and also the other one was um, texture and then that you have to upload a texture file I'm not really sure how to do that not a big pro but I do know the basics and let's say Jim Bob likes really 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 tall letters so he decided to make his letters really big and he decided to make them really really thick 
actually not that thick. He wanted them to be 10. He wanted, because he wanted everybody to know that he was Jim Bob 372 That's my new channel name. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so Jim Bob 372 was like, the black background's a bit boring. There's a couple different things you can do. You can go up to uh, scene, and this is upload. It. You can upload your own custom image. Or you can upload a video, your own custom video. So let's say you have a video of your dad yelling, and it was, like, really good. You could put that in the background, and let's say your channel was all about recording your dad getting angry. So you'd put a picture of that. Or if you really like Call of Duty, you might put a Call of Duty thing in the background. It's just whatever. So you could do that, or you can upload an image, or... There's just this. You can do this. Here, wait. Uh, why isn't it on? So, yeah. There, now it's like, whoa, it's Jim Bob 372. You can do full moon. Wow. Such amazing. Wow. Didn't really make any difference at all. That's really weird. I don't know why it's not doing it, but... Oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. So, Jim Bob 372 he was pretty happy. He, he actually decided he liked the background, but he thought maybe he wanted to add another shape. So, what you can do with that is you, what you can do is you can add shapes. So, I want to add a 3D shape. So, then I click on, and then I click, what kind of 3D shape would I like? I think I want a donut. But that donut, you can't see that donut because my letters are so big. So you can bake your donut really big. And let's say Jim Bob really liked red donuts, so he'd keep that red. Because I don't feel like, but he wanted it really thick. Maybe not that thick. Like that. So everybody in the entire universe... We know this Jim Bob 372. And actually, no, let's just say he wanted the same. Oh, you can't pixelate them. Anyway, that, that looks okay, right? So that's how Jim Bob 372 really liked his intro. But yeah, so that's with a template. And then that would be his intro. It's just repeating over and over. So yeah. But now, I think I'm going to be making my intro, which is, takes a bit more effort and work, but I think it, the payout's worth it. So, um, I'm not going to actually, like, finish it 100%, because I'll have to show, like, personal info and stuff, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm just going to start from scratch, but I'll show you the basics on what you need to know. So, generically, when you start from scratch, you have a very entertaining intro. Wow. Fabulous. Am I right? So, you're like, okay. The first step is, if you want to go through it in order, the first step is length. You can make it longer video if, you, if that's your thing. You want to... 300 second long intro. Oh, you can only go to 30. That would be quite boring, having a 30 second intro. So I'm going to keep it at 7. Uh, yeah. Um, then we got the quality. I'd keep it at this, 1080p, but you can pump it up or go down, depending on whatever. And, oh, and I forgot. Yeah, that's a, just the template, so never mind. Next would be the scene. This is where it would have to show personal info and upload an image for me, but you can upload your own custom image or video like I already said, but I'm not gonna actually do that like right now. That'll be the only difference that I won't do in this, but you just you click it and then you double click an image that you like. Anyway, so let's go to objects. Now you want to add your first text. And I don't want it to be panzoid. So let's do card 
board penguin. And sorry about the cutout there, but this is episode two. Um, I my screen recording thing only lets me record for ten minutes. So I typed in cardboard penguin. So and I I'm okay with this font. And I'm okay with everything. I just want to have a blue. Blue. There. Actually, I don't want it to say cardboard penguin. Because I am doing an outro. So I'm going to do... Thanks for watching. And then another thing, if you want double lines of text... You're going to want to go to, uh, uh, I think it's inverted, so bottom, and then that'll be higher. And then you can put one top, and then you can set the other one to top, so you can have two lines of text. It's just a little thing you can do. But, um, yeah, I like the thanks for watching. Now let's do another one, object two. And first, let's set it to, uh, top, so it'll, you can read it. And let's do subscribe, because that's what you should do. No, I'm kidding. Subscribe. There. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. So that's a pretty good outro, right? So now, you're going to be thinking, watching this video, you're going to be like, wow, great outro. The camera's off. The, uh... So now it gets a bit more complicated. Oh, not yet. RBG shift. These are just different things you can play around with. I like anti-analyzing. And, and it just makes edges sharper and nicer. And prettier. So that's pretty much that. So now is the bit trickier part. So here what do you this is where you decide what you want your intro to look like when it first starts so this is where you decide do you want your intro to come out from the bottom and then like go up or does you want it to go from one side to the other or do you want it to to come spinning out which is like a hard thing or like yeah like one side to the other just depending on what you want. I want mine to... I'll, I'll show you what I want mine to do. So... I want mine to... Let's go to zero. Or actually... Let's, let's go to 50. This is what I want mine to do. So, I want to pump this Y. So, I want mine to go from that state... To swing forward and then swing so it looks like a swinging motion so I think I want a bit higher than that actually we'll just set it to however high we can get it what is what do you have to do 360 but we'll just start off like that 350 oh let's just do 360 for the sake of yeah so let's say I wanted my video to start off like that, which I do. Now do you decide when, now you slide this out. Let's say this is the point where I want my video, my like thanks for watching. That's the point where I want it to have, like you can normally see it normal. So that's the point I want it to. And then you add, add the keyframe and then... I'm going to go down to zero and go up to like 250 so you can see the entire thing like that. So there. So now that's added. So now no crap okay I'm gonna <laughs> okay so I made a mistake and that's gonna happen 
And unfortunately, when you make mistakes on this, there's no invert your last thing you just did. Actually, no, it is. Hey, it did work. Okay, never mind. I was just kidding. Okay, I messed up. So that's going to happen. You just do that if you mess up. Because I forgot to do something. And that something is quite important. So let's just, actually, let's just do this. Zero. And let's do 250. This is what, this is all the different uh, things. The best one just to do is linear. It's just the normal kind of one. So I just do that. So now that'll work. So now that'll be at its normal state. And then, let's see. By th this point, I want it to be swung forward. So I add another keyframe. And I'm hoping this is going to look okay, because this is going to be my actual one. Actually, 250 is fine. Why am I changing that? Now I want it to be swung a bit forward. By that, I want it to be swung that much forward. By that point. And linear. And then, by this point, I want it to be swung the other way a bit. And then by this point, I want it to be swung forward a little bit. Oh, I think I forgot one. X. Last keyframe. X. So let's just watch it, just to see. Okay. So now you see that. And then it kind of turns a bit. Bum, bum. That looks kind of cool. So now I want it to swing back and swing forth. So I'm going to want to pause it. And I don't want to add a keyframe there. I want to add the keyframe. I think I'm just going to set this to zero. And make the simpler one linear. So now you can watch it. So now it's it goes from that to that and then back to that. And then actually, I think by this point, I want it to be totally off the screen. So I'm going to do at this point I want it totally off the screen so let's say it's not that one it's X so I want it to go all the way off the screen oh actually that's just turning it never mind then I don't know what I'm going to do then. Actually, I'm in negatives now. Oopsie daisy. So, I'm going to decide what I want, but hopefully this helped. Sorry about all the rambling and all that. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to patch this up, and then hopefully in my next video, I will have a nice um outro. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this helped you a bit. If it didn't, sorry about that, and uh, have a nice day.